Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is your message, your energy forecast for the week of 20th until the 27th of May. Pisces, I'm picking up strongly on someone's energy and I will try to describe this energy and the message. So, it's about rejection, all right? It's about refusing something. It's like this person has been brought to an environment okay and okay that's confirmation they've been brought to an environment and they're supposed to bring their truth okay they are being recognized for their truth so this may be your energy where you are being recognized for your truth and you've been invited to this environment and then all of a sudden they're not accepting you for who you are or they didn't accept you for who you are it's maybe a past or a present energy and the divine is encouraging you here to keep going with your truth they invited you to be you and then all of a sudden they want you to change and then they're trying to make you to feel rejected do not change who you are for these people Okay, stand your ground, but I'm not even getting a stubborn energy with stand your ground. It's saying to own who you are, to continue being in your authenticity. It goes to say that there are many environments that have invited you in, had have admired you for your truth. And once you start to tell the truth and that maybe triggers them or it goes against what they have been used to then they begin to fight it. I believe that's where the message is. All right, that may be significant for you at this time. There's something about judgment and justice for you. Okay, so yeah, something about judgment. I feel like there's judgment day coming. Okay, someone is facing or a group of people are facing their judgment for something. So if anyone tries to come to you, the divine is saying to reject it. Because you've done a lot of healing of all of those stuff with abandonment. Yeah, you may find yourself refusing some offers this week because you know they are coming to kind of bribe you back in. So it means that you've actually, you know, leveled up your fierceness, your self-worth. Yeah, your sense of worth. And it's like you're stepping to a whole new level of fierce love. Wow, Pisces. I'm getting a whole new level of fierce love for you. Like a fierce one. It, it doesn't shout. It doesn't scream. It doesn't brag. But you are owning who you are. You're standing strong in that. So well done. That is a lot of courage, bravery, truth, <laughs> gusto. Hmm. Okay, Pisces, let's get into your messages for this week. That message needed to come out. Because they try to make you to feel rejected. And of course, no matter how much we've healed the fear of rejection, we still feel down, you know? It's human. It's human to feel that. And what you do is you get back one more time. You own who you are. And in that is your strength. You've up-leveled yourself during that process of acknowledgement page of wands ten of pentacles and the sun this is an exciting message coming in for you all right regarding your divine inheritance and you stepping into the light your new beginnings Ten, ten. okay so there is judgment day going on here i i, I keep getting judgment day is here judgment day is here pisces okay I mean, do I need to say anything? I can't even talk any further because this is such a... I'm not even getting like power, force. It's like, it's a confident energy that I'm picking up. The divine is confident in the fact that you have your victory. Um, so at this time, you may be prepared for this judgment day. What is this judgment about? So how you can be prepared is where you are connected to your emotions, like to do a lot of releasing, and that is heightening your creativity. In other words, your truth, everything to do with the head area, starting from the neck 
up until the crown chakra so the throat chakra third eye and crown and then your heart chakra of course going with that truth but yeah i'm getting more of that fierceness there's a lot of yeah fierceness goes to judgment what about this nine of swords so this nine of swords is someone who is feeling yeah they're not having it easy right now they're not having it easy see that ten of swords Pisces judgment day is here the Sun is number 19 if you add this ten of swords and nine of swords that makes 19 altogether this person is having their own new beginning and then the judgment is 10 10 right so on one hand you have 10 on your side and then 10 on this other person's side or these people because look at that with the judgment they try to make you to sleep they try to put you to sleep and the sun is also saying this is for you as a pisces sun how it relates to all that concerns you your experience completely if you're a moon sign then this will apply to your inner child your subconscious or even a rising sign right it will apply to your justice a lot to do with your divine inheritance and your justice here wow the sun and death scorpio energy so this is to do with your own process right now uh, you may be going through a fast transformation so where you are uh, what i call waving the white flag when it comes to like having to fight uh, you fought a lot for yourself here. You you stood your ground. You stood in your truth and That does take a lot of energy to do so the divine is guiding you to a place now where you are um, You're pouring into yourself doing a lot of release Yeah, trust this process with judgment the Sun and death. These are powerful energies working Five of Pentacles working to to move you out of something Okay, something that's try to put you in a place of scarcity again and again It's like it just wanted to keep you stuck in this place Ten of Pentacles four of wands. This is a cause for celebration for you Two of swords Mm. this is partial something that was partial towards you is being corrected I believe I picked up a similar energy for you once where the divine has made it a case so this is all about the justice system whether spiritual or physical page of wands a message what about that king of cups to the king of cups so this is cancer pisces scorpio there may be a water sign here as well okay king of swords two energies water and air libra gemini aquarius you're getting justice you're sitting in your power you're sitting in that throne that throne has been made for you forever and some people try to make you to leave your throne and the way they wanted you to leave that throne was to say oh um, come sit in this other one this is newer or this is this has this is flashier this has this or this or that yours is not good enough that kind of thing but this king of swords is sitting there with the king of cups they're sitting there saying this is my throne it's made exactly for me And they projected upon you a lot a lot of projection here and I believe this is a present energy as well where you yeah it's, it feels like someone here it feels like you're coming to some big big justice what is this message I know this message is about your divine inheritance the devil this is Capricorn energy you may have Capricorn this is also Saturn 
earth to do with materials and resources it's like some resources are being provided for you here these are shadow forces there could be a capricorn coming towards you as well hmm Ten of Cups. Wow. Feels like someone is seeing that something that was done to you was not fair, Pisces. Okay, this person did stuff to you as well. That was not fair. But it's like they were sent to you. This may be a twin flame connection, but it's someone here. Like you may have had like some childlike connection with this person. Two different energies. There is air and then there is uh, earth. Now, the other energy that I'm picking up here was part of the people that were supposed to bring you down. But then somehow they had a change of mind. They saw that a lot that was done to you was not fair. A lot of injustice. Um, now, this person may be trying to come towards you. Maybe a love connection doesn't have to be. Apply intuition here because I'm seeing the two of swords. But I know that someone is waking up and perhaps they're facing their judgment as well. Can you see the 10, 10, 10, 10, 10? And then four of wands and death, they're both four. So it comes it comes to do with the heart chakra, like opening to love, opening to spirit. And here you are sitting as this king of swords and king of cups. It's like you have, wow, wow, strength. That strength card has been coming up for you. You may have Leo in your chart as well. Or there could be a Leo here. I keep hearing Judgment Day is here. Judgment Day is coming. Ace of Pentacles. So you're being offered a new beginning by the Divine. Regarding this unfairness, unfair treatment. Someone here, you may have been working on a project with this person, maybe an air sign, right? Um, they were sent to you by some shadow forces to stop you from coming to your in divine inheritance. Now, this person, as soon as they met you, there was something that was ignited for them, their own healing process. It's like their own shadow process started. And this person may have gone silent because of that. This may be an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn. This other energy that I'm picking up. Or even a bit of air like Libra. But whichever the case, all of these energies, they're coming to their judgment. They're facing something. So be mindful. For There's someone that is trying to come back into your energy and the divine is saying to refuse them. Because they need to face themselves at this time. Because you're coming to this beautiful place and then all of a sudden they're trying to come back into your energy. Look at that, the three of pentacles, the hermit. So this person was a part of something nasty that was done towards you. They tried to keep you tied up. You, you did work together with this person. Or maybe there was a project that was supposed to happen between you and this person. But it just didn't work because you kept standing your ground. For some of you, this may be a divine masculine or a masculine energy. For someone, this may be a divine feminine. So you can apply this depending on who you are in this place. 
but there's a strong energy of you coming out into the light no matter like which polarity you are, you align with uh there is something to do with shadows and the full moon in sagittarius is bringing more truth to you about this situation And Pisces, the beautiful thing I'm getting about your own process is like you've held on to your peace. You've kept standing your ground. So it's like your truth has been indeed your, your light. You know how we say that as a slogan? This is what I'm getting here. Your, your truth has been your light. Your truth has been your guiding light. And it's the one liberating you. It's the one bringing you to this new Beautiful energy. Yeah, this person did something nasty. Okay, I, I can't put my finger to how deep it is, but they, they were part of something. And the thing is, the, one of the reasons they went silent on you or couldn't do anything to you it may not be like there was love or the this person doesn't really know what love is sincerely because of what they've been through now this shadow forces were using that against this person okay this is someone that would have ended up in jail okay but this shadow forces may have exchanged something so this person sold their soul to the devil And then when they met you, they, they were, yeah, it's like, yeah, some twin flame connections can be like that as well, where there's shadow and light. And this is why it's not always as it seems. Yes, there is love, but then it's like, uh, it's a very complex journey. Even they do not understand. So this person has had to reject you, not because of you, but because of what they have done, because of them. They were paid to get to you. And now they're having to pay some kind of recompense for what they were not able to bring. And that is you. And this is how the divine works, right? Because the divine always wants to see all their children, all, you know, all of us to be in a place of love. And that love requires a lot of awakening. So the physical process, the human process is not always funny. But then the divine always sees it as in order for order to happen, chaos must come in. Just like you're cleaning up a home and you have to like, like deep cleaning, you have to take out the furniture, do this, do that. So there will be chaos at some point. And in that chaos, we trust. So if this full moon comes in with some energies for you, Pisces, on your own part, because I feel like the energies are already building, trust your process. You could have Virgo in your chart, Earth, a lot of Earth, and this is connected to your divine inheritance. There's something you're destined for. It's your destiny, and you must have it. There's nothing stopping it. All you need to do is to continue trusting. Ace of Wands. So you're having energy now. Okay, you're going to be giving more energy to keep moving, to continue to speak your truth. Knight of Swords and Ace of Wands with Seven of Swords. Yeah, this person is confident that they can come in and out. I see a nine, Seven of Swords and Nine of Cups. They're confident that they can come in and out however they wish. This is the kind of illusion they're in. It's about them. No, this person doesn't really go out of their way to think about another person. The divine has been trying to help this person to come back. But they're not. So they have to be blocked off from you. They're being blocked off. Yeah. 
someone sees you in your justice and they're not they're quite on the other side of it and they're not happy about it in fact how to describe this they're not happy about it and it's not about you they're just not finding it funny within and what is happening they're looking around and their good luck charm is gone the energy they were sapping from you somehow the life force hmm. balance there justice energy i bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and i do so without judgment so there's something to do with you bringing harmony and then releasing judgment okay releasing judgment and blame regarding something here with the death energy is about fear-based egos and when we talk about fear-based egos we we most likely come to pride you know as the first thing but it's not that mm -mm. that is not what i'm picking up the fear-based egos i'm picking up are everything that that are or everything that is stopping you from being your most authentic self at this time so this comes with releasing blame releasing secrets like you you've i'm getting i no longer i can no longer keep your secrets and that is to do from is from the chakra wisdom card it's, the card is called release i can no longer keep your secrets it's like you're being more open with yourself it's all about vulnerability with self here that i'm picking up freedom i possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness there we go perseverance i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to yes indeed you can i also feel that this perseverance is this person if they set their mind to something they want to do it because it's all about them so beware of this person because they're trying to sap from your life force this is a warning pisces because they're good let's get a message from angels and ancestors trader exchange energy to create abundance broken arrow embrace the energy of peace so this broken arrow and trader are for you like it's like you are becoming more selfish every day and that is that fierce love that i keep getting so the selfishness is not so much for other people but for you if there's one thing a narcissist can teach you okay a selfish person like that's how they they have been and that's how they want to continue being they can teach you boundaries and more and you are adding on top of that your peace your connection with the divine so where this person may operate in a more like hustling way like all about themselves you are more connected to spirit and in flow and that is part of your karmic justice that is part of your divine inheritance so keep speaking your truth here keep being in your balance and do not give up all right don't give up in whatever you're doing this is not the time to give up there is never even given up here keep going broken arrow let go of the need to defend yourself and prepare to offer peace you are safe if you have been exposed to a situation in which you have felt the need to protect yourself or defend what you feel is right know that this is now coming to an end with the arrival of the broken arrow card you are being guided to know that the energies of light are entering to wash away all the darkness that is that ace of wands you can drop your shields and protection you are now in a situation that will honor you and honor your needs arguments are ending and disagreements are being resolved prepare to talk things through and offer the peace that you would like to enjoy in order to move forward in a more fearless way it's important for you to let go of the idea that you can be hurt by this situation or the people involved because this will only work against you know that your angelic guides and ancestors are standing around you protecting you and taking you lovingly forward I shared that and this message is on page one two three 
So this is about your own progress. It's all about you right now. All right, Pisces, I wish you a lovely week and I'm going to stop here for now and I'll see you with more videos. Bye-bye.